I'm here today with Swazik Laguner from the Institut Genetics Not Atlantique. Founded in 2003, IGNA has been a pioneer in forensic analysis and are the largest private laboratory in France. IGNA is a full service forensics laboratory. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the services that you offer? First and foremost, we perform DNA analysis, mostly from crime scene samples, but also from reference samples for databasing and also paternity tests. Aside from this, IGNA also analyzes and compares fingerprints found on objects from crime scene. We develop processes allowing us to perform both fingerprint and DNA on the same items. We also carry out blood stain analysis and we can do either from photographs or also from the crime scene directly. Uh, and uh, our work with DNA complements this. For example, in case where blood have been left uh, from multiple sources, we can analyze the DNA uh, and select the blood from a single source. We also do IT analysis to get information from computers, hard disk, smartphones. Finally, we also analyze handwriting. But uh, as I said at the start, uh, our work with uh, DNA uh, makes up around 90% uh, of our total activity. And so with that, I know you offer STR analysis on capillary electrophoresis. You do some mitochondrial DNA sequencing. And now you've started to do some next generation sequencing. Can you tell me about some of the processes you use to make a decision on how you're going to process a sample when you have all of these choices? First, we usually begin with STR typing because it's present in all DNA database. Uh, we always start using uh, global filer kits and when needed, uh, also mini filer and Y filer kits. When we have no results uh, with uh, these kits, we can discuss on the case with police or judge and propose them other investigations. We, in some cases, we do mitochondrial DNA. Um, mostly uh, in criminal cases with uh, rootless hair samples or in cases where uh, direct DNA comparison isn't possible for identification, for example. Next-gen sequencing is a more recent technology in the lab. We propose it when uh, judges uh, need phenotypic information uh, or for degraded sample in uh, several cases. In uh, 2014, a decision of the National French Court had have a great impact uh, for us. We can now use SNPs uh, for ancestry and phenotypic predictions. But this method can only be used um, in criminal cases uh, where we standard DNA examination um, permitted uh, isolation of the, the DNA of the responsible person, but uh, where there was no match in the database, so no identification of this DNA. And um, the, anal the analysis can be performed only on uh, crime scene samples uh, like hair, blood, sperm found on a victim. Uh, it can't be performed on a person. And so have you filed any reports yet using SNP genotyping? Um, yes, we have made six reports <laughs> with uh, next gen sequencing data. Uh, one using the identity kit on a uh, Joe Bone sample, mm -hmm. uh, which gave us neither STR nor mitochondrial DNA results. Mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for this case, we are now waiting for uh, comparison samples. And the remaining five reports uh, were cases where judges uh, ask us for information on mm -hmm. phenotypic and ancestry data um, on unknown DNA. Uh, it was for um, homicides, homicides and rapes. Uh, but the results are too recent to know today uh, if uh, they have helped the police uh, to find the culprits. What do you think is the future of next generation sequencing for IGNA? 
We'd like to soon be able to offer other types of phenotypic analysis, for example, skin color, blindness pattern, red hair, and so on. We also want to use this technology uh, to analyze mitochondrial DNA by sequencing uh, D-loop regions. And um, of course, we are looking forward to using next-gen sequencing for STR typing, uh, which will permit us to analyze uh, degraded DNA, DNA mixture, lock up in number DNA. We also have other projects, but uh, I will not uh, tell you everything <laughs> today. Finally, it will be a great step forward for uh, uh, in DNA forensics when uh, we have a useful amount of data uh, from next gen sequencing and uh, acceptance from the authorities to use such results for databasing. Really fantastic work that you're doing at IGNA Swazik. To learn more, please visit us at thermofisher.com forward slash HID.